Good morning. Welcome to Malcolm's Kitchen. This morning I thought it was important to maybe bring up a little information on health related issues and uh, what it takes to try and remain healthy when you're out in the middle of nowhere. So up until I was a Asian mountain man, I didn't care too much to keep track of and take care of myself. But um, these days it's very important. So I just wanted to show a little uh, example of the things that I do to keep myself sharp on top of the world and in the most tip-top, healthiest shape I can be in. Start off first with Omega-3 fish oil. Now this was recommended to me by one of my friends out there that uh, I really needed. And what Omega fish oil does is it really helps to shed water from your skin like when you take a bath or shower or sauna in order to keep yourself from puffing up and absorbing too much water. That's what the fish oil is for. Uh, fish use it a lot because that's where it comes from. And they don't swell up in the water and they spend most of their day there. Anyway, this is good for you. I highly recommend it. Next, turmeric. That comes from the family of the ginger root. Not that it is a ginger root, it's own thing. But I also take some uh, ground ginger, uh, usually with soy sauce. But that's not necessary in this case. Turmeric, a little black pepper in there gives a nice spicy tinge to it. And it really keeps you on your toes, you know. And I can't stress it enough. Next, we have the vitamin C. Everybody takes vitamin C. What I found with a lot of these vitamins is that whatever letter they start with, that's what they're good for. Things like cold, colonoscopies, or, uh, crappy days. And also, if you remember from the days of school, you know, C meant average. If you ever got a C, you are just kind of average, which is okay to be average. And in order for a lot of these other supplements to work you need to at least take vitamin c to make yourself average so that all of the other vitamins elevate above that level um, i think that's very important so vitamin c definitely we take that out here in the desert a lot it helps um, with if you ever get bit by a cactus you know um, okay next we have vitamin d3 now, there is no D1 and there is no D2. I've looked around or for D4, but D3, like I said, the letter D helps things with diarrhea, diphtheria, um, death, um, disproportionate thought processes. Anyway, D3 means all of those things that it helps you with, it does it three times as much, which is extremely helpful, right, in this day and age when... Uh, you look around you and you realize that sometimes you feel like you might be over your head and uh, hard to keep track of things. Uh, well, D3 will help you do that three times as much. Next, one of my favorites, zinc. Zinc is a very important thing. Not only is that the end of the alphabet, meaning that if you take all the vitamins, uh, A, B, C, Ds, E's, and the F's, and all of those things, you sooner or later will eventually come to the letter Z, which is the last letter of the American alphabet. And vitamin zinc is uh, extremely important that it kind of seals in, kind of adds a period after all of those other vitamins means that this is the sealing version that, that makes all the other vitamins work. Also... It's also a primary uh, element in batteries. So if by chance you're like an electrician kind of person, um, this will really be helpful to you. If you ever notice people will test a 9-volt battery sometimes, they'll put it on their tongue and, you know, they go, oh, yeah, that battery's got juice to it because it zapped me. That doesn't mean diddly. You are actually lacking in one of the most primary elements in batteries, and that is a zinc element. Um uh, so what I recommend is that taking zinc, you can tell and you can feel electronic charges around 
around you very easily. Uh, you can even tell when you walk by a car battery, uh, you can tell whether the battery's dead or not because you have zinc in your system. It's very important. So, uh, Tor, I know you probably do this already, but uh, just so you know, zinc, that'll help. All right. Next we have CBDs. Now, I take CBDs daily. I just started doing this because um, I heard it was really good for you and it was made out of pot. And uh, I've done pot ever since my teen years. I don't know that it's made me smarter, healthier, dumber, whatever. I don't know. All I know is that anything that is made from pot, I take. Now, one of these is for sweet dreams and one of these is to make you feel good. And one of these is something else, but it doesn't get you high. Um, but it's very good for you somehow. And at some point in time, I might explain it. All right. That covers all the CBDs. Come in a nice little eyedropper too, so you can squirt them under your tongue. It's really cool. And probably one of the most important things is, um, vitamin G. Now, a lot of people don't know about vitamin G because they don't get exposed to it. But vitamin G is one of the things... Uh, like I said, G, vitamin, God. Can't live without God. Some people do. Some people don't find it necessary. But keeps you on an even keel and uh, always aware of your shortcomings and where to become a better person. Now, there's another vitamin G for when the world just gets a little bit too tough and you feel like maybe you got yourself in over your head and maybe you don't know how you're going to get out. It could be the last day you spend on earth because you're you're having a hard time coping but sometimes in order to to um even the score to make things better you need vitamin g the other vitamin g which i highly recommend for those of you that uh sometimes find yourself in a position where you actually need just a little extra vitamin help anyway that's all for today. If there's anybody out there that can add to my current vitamin regime, um, I'd be happy to take that advice um, as I'm slowly growing to become more comfortable and aware of health, my health mainly. You worry about your own health. 